Teach an old dog new tricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for partaking in my ACT tips. Right now, we are using ACT version 16. This is in September of the year 2013, and this is the newest version of ACT. You'll notice it doesn't look a lot different from the previous versions, but I just want to let you know that's what I'm using to do this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about an issue of sending an email to multiple ACT contacts quickly and easily. Now, there are more than one way you can do this, but I just want to show you a quick and easy way because sometimes it can be a little awkward. I'm going to come up and I'm going to go look up and I'm going to go down to where it says ID status. And when this comes up, client is already in there, so I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard and I'm going to look up in this demo database 10 clients. That's what I have in this database. You'll notice some of these names look familiar. Let's say, for example, that we want to send an email to William Shakespeare. Well, if I just double click on William Shakespeare, he'll pop up on the screen. But I want you to observe that also, because I had done a lookup of all my clients, I happen to go to William Shakespeare, but it also shows that there's 10 other contacts sort of behind the scenes, so I could move to them individually by using these arrows. If I want to send a quick email to just William Shakespeare, all I have to do is click on the email address and Microsoft Outlook will open up and I can send him a quick email. But the dilemma is this. Let's say I want to send an email to all 10 of my clients rather quickly. How do you do that? And that is sort of a dilemma. Well, one of the ways you could do it is you could create what's called a group and put all these people in a group. But unless you've got it set up that way, that's awkward at best. So let me show you how to do this. If you want to send an email to all 10 of these people at the same time using Microsoft Outlook, this is what you do. You go up and you click on list view so you see everything is a list right here. I want you to observe up here where it says email. Just observe that for now because I'm going to come back down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first contact. Next, I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the last contact. So it's selected or highlighted all of these contacts all at once. You'll notice all the contacts have an email address. Now, just so you know, I had to use my email addresses so they'd all come to me. I've got more than one email address, that's why you'll see a few different ones. But now, after I've selected all, this, all these contacts, now I want to go back up and click on email. What happens is Microsoft Outlook will open up with a new email window so that I can send that email to all of these people all at once. You'll notice that what it's done is it's taken all their names and all their email addresses and put it up here in the To field. This is the last step of what you have to do before you send this, and this is what I recommend. If you send this out right now as is, everyone will see everyone else that got this email. So what I want to recommend is come over here to the right where there's no email addresses and just click once. Now, using the keyboard shortcut, control A, which is select is, selects all the things in this window, I'm going to do control A and watch what happens. I'm going to go control A right now on my keyboard. Again, that's holding the control key down and hitting the letter A. Next, I want to cut these out of here. I'm going to go Control X and cut them out of there. Why? Because really, I want to put them in blind carbon copy. And what blind carbon copy is, is no one else will know that the other person got the same email. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for pasting what I just cut, and that is Control V as in Victor. You would think it's Control P as in paper, but Control P is really to print something. So Control V as in Victor will paste those right there. And now at this point what I can do is I can type a subject, I can type my message, hit send, and they'll all be sent out to these people blind carbon copy. So that's a quick way, and it's really not that hard to do once you sort of get acclimated to it, but the one key is it throws it in the to field when you do this, so typically you want to cut them out of there and paste it in the blind carbon copy field before you proceed. 
My name is Tony Hollowitz. I love teaching people how to act. If you have any questions, never reach out. Never hesitate to reach out to me. You'll see my phone number is right here, 781-728-9777. Or you can visit TonyTheTeacher.com. Not Tony the Tiger, Tony the Teacher. Thank you very much. Have a great day.